Simple tricks to get Canadian PR in less than a year. There are millions of people all around the world living in African, Asian, Middle Eastern and some European countries wish and or have plans to immigrate to Canada and seek for a way to get PR in Canada for the dreams of a better lifestyle and better future as advertised in Canada. By this video, we're going to talk about some ways to get Canadian PR in less than one year and trick the Canadian immigration authorities. We're going to tell this by some stories and examples. At the end of this video, you will learn how to get PR in Canada in a short period of time. This video is based on some facts and evidences which some are going to be disclosed. The revealed names could be real. Case number 1. Imagine, it's 2007. There is a typical, uneducated person who is a citizen of Iran. Let's call him Mohammad Reza Alalu, and in short form M. Alalu. As a bus driver's helper, he travels regularly to Turkey. After several times of traveling to Turkey, he learns about the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and misusing its programs to immigrate to Canada. He decides to stay in Turkey and then applies for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Due to having no qualifications and or activities regarding to be recognized as a refugee in his background and having no problem to live in Iran, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees rejects his application, so he is not recognized as a refugee. It's the time that he works in a realtor office as a helper in Turkey. By accident, he gets introduced to a person whose name is Ismail Aslan, a citizen of Turkey who is a driver in the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees office in Ankara, Turkey. He learns about Ismail Aslan and talks to him about his situation. Then Ismail Aslan promises to help him if he takes his close relative to Canada later under a family class. M. Alalu accepts his offer. In a short period of time, Ismail Aslan finds a person who is homosexual. With the respect to LGBT, let's name this person by a nickname Scarlet, a citizen of Iran whose case has been approved recently. M. Alalu pays Scarlet 20,000 US dollars to accept him as a partner for immigration purpose. They refer to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees as partners and M. Alalu confirms that he is gay. After couples of months, in 2009, they come to Canada by deceiving the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Authorities. M. Alalu and Scarlett fools the Ministry of Social Development and Welfare and get disability assistance and misuse the BC housing program for a couple of years, while M. Alalu works in several works places such as cleaning, flooring, construction and later transportation as a truck driver for Cash and Cheats Canada Revenue Agency by showing himself as a low-income person, not paying tax, and giving wrong information. Later after finishing all required processes in Canada, they get separated. M. Alalu currently works as a highway truck driver and delivers opioid substances while committing a crime and being a member of drug trafficking gang. His brother Alan Alilo distributes drugs locally under the cab driver in Uber in Lower Mainland in BC. His current girlfriend Jean Alvarez who is Alan Alilo's wife also helps M. Alalu to deliver drugs from Edmonton, Alberta to Vancouver, BC and then to the USA. Trick number one, cheating the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees by a fake partnership to a person whose gender orientation is transgender and or homosexual by paying some amount of money. Case number two, imagine it's 2014. M. Alalu has a brother in Iran. Let's call him Fazal with nickname Farzan Lilo, a citizen of Iran who works in the Central Bank of Iran or any branch in Tehran. He has some links with Iranian regime. M. Alalu helps his brother, Fazael Alilo's family including his wife, Fatimit, his daughter, Zara, and his son to go to the Republic of Azerbaijan, first and then travel to USA as tourists from Azerbaijan by some illegally prepared documents by bribery to some officials in Azerbaijan, while Fazael Alilo stays in Iran and continues to his work. M. Alalu goes to USA and brings his brother, Fazer Lalilo's family to Canada by illegally crossing the U.S.-Canada border. 
they apply to the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada in Vancouver. Amalalu gets a lawyer for them and help them to deceive Canadian immigration authorities by giving totally false information and prepared fake documents. In a couple of months their refugee claim gets approved by Canadian immigration authorities. Few years later, Fazayar Lalilo joins them in Canada, and after getting PR, he and his wife get divorced for plans to embezzlement and stealing a huge amount of money from Iranian bank and money laundry under his wife's name. Trick number two, come to Canada USA as a tourist and apply as a refugee by deceiving immigration authorities in providing false information and fake documents. Case number three, imagine it's 2018. M. Alalu's older brother who lives in Sweden comes to Canada to visit his brother's family. Let's call him Alan Alilo. After several visits, he decides and makes plans to stay in Canada, so looks for a way to stay in Canada permanently and later bring all his family members to Canada. M. Alalu and Alan Alilo soon find that the easiest way to get Canadian PR is a fake marriage. Jean Alvarez has been Mohamed Reza Alalu's girlfriend since March 2017, so they has been living together since that time. M. Alalu asks his girlfriend, Jean who is a Filipino lady to marry Alan Alilo, and offers to pay her 35,000 Canadian dollars and pay her course tuition in healthcare field as they confessed. Jean accepts his offer and accepts to get married to Alan Alilo for immigration purpose. After preparing documents for a fake marriage and getting help from an Indian immigration consultant, they submit their family class sponsorship application, and in less than one year, their application gets approved. They plan to get divorced soon after getting PR. Trick number three, marriage fraud is always an easy trick to get PR in Canada. Case number four, it's 2017. M. Alalu gets introduced to a lady from Iran. Let's call her Fatima Gilizadid. She asks M. Alalu to bring her to Canada. She gets money from men for a short-term Islamic contracted marriage which is prostitution. She is a concubine and works with a person named Mehdi Mohammadzadeh. Despite being married, Mehdi Mohammadzadeh has sex with Fatima Gilizadeh and markets her to men to have sex with her for money in Iran. Mehdi Mohammadzadeh asks M. Alalu to take her to Canada and she offers some amount of money to M. Alalu to sponsor her under a fake marriage and pay him whatever he wants. She even accepts to have sex with him whenever he wishes. As she's unable to pay M. Alalu his proposal amount of money, M. Alalu refuses to get married to her after taking advantages of her and having sex with her. Finally, M. Alalu accepts to get married for immigration purpose to a lady from Turkey and getting some amount of money around 40,000 US dollars. He starts sponsorship application for another fake marriage. We're sure due to bad Canadian immigration policies, his fake marriage application will be approved by Canadian immigration authorities. He plans to bring all his brothers and relatives to Canada by fake marriages and cheating Canadian immigration authorities and using the Canadian immigration system. M. Alalu has found a gap in Canadian immigration system and turned it to an illegal business to make money. He invests all his money in Turkey and buys property there, not in Canada, to prevent the loss of his money if he gets arrested by Canadian authorities. He also commits in some illegal activities to make more and more money. Trick number four, marriage fraud is always the easiest way to make money or to come to Canada. The root of immigration and citizenship fraud. Due to some gaps and bad policies of the Ministry of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, some dishonest people such as people mentioned above misuse the gaps and failure of the Canadian immigration system and make money by taking advantages, while there are hundreds of Canadians whose sponsorship get rejected and they are unable to reunite to their family members in Canada. To fix the misuse of dishonest people such as Mohammad Reza Alalu, it's required urgently to change and or fix some regulations and policies of Canadian immigration system the same way as some European countries such as Denmark do.